It's your more girl and welcome back to my channel, guys. Well, finally, 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 it's finally done. All right, so I'm doing the last DIY for the master bathroom, which is the clock. And I'm going to show you in a quick second. So I just want to tell the people, if you haven't been following me, my name is More Girl and this is More Girl Makeovers. And what I do is just do DIYs. Now I'm working on a project, which is to redo my master bathroom. So I'm doing all the decor. So previously in my guest bathroom, I did a rose gold guest bathroom spa and I showed towards the end. This time in my master, my subscribers wanted to see the whole DIY process as I was going through it. And the next one will be the master bathroom tour. It is done, guys. So this is the last project I'm working on. And again, if you want to see it, hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me show you guys. Here she is. Well, I got this clock from Walmart and I hauled this about three, but two months ago. So look, 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 is it this gorgeous? Very, very gorgeous. And actually I really didn't need this part. And I did this part, this was a two part process. Number one, I did this part because it's going like high up on my wall in my bathroom and it was large. So I didn't want to just have a floating clock just sitting there alone because I figured it'll get lost. So I know I needed something that was bright and blingy and I just wanted to tell you guys, I, I think this came out really nice. I had some little complications and I'll explain it to you when you see the DIY, but I just wanted you to see the overall look of this clock. Let me see if I can bring it in. I even add jewels to it. Look at that. It, I think, came out absolutely gorgeous. So, guys, I'm going to show you what I did. I will say on a scale, if you've never done resin, I did do resin art. I think it was nice. You know, and again, thank my subby for wanting me to do resin art on this clock as well. Because I wasn't going to do it. So, anyway. I'm going to show you what I did and how I did it on a scale from 1 to 10. If you've never done resin art before, it's probably going to be a 10. But if you have, at least practice with it or any type of drawing. Actually, the clock wasn't that bad. It'd probably be like a scale of one, maybe 5 on a 1 to 5 as far as um difficulties. Now, this was a weekend project. So, because I did a board one day and I'm going to show you how I did it. And then I came back into the clock and the clock had to be resin. And normally I'll have my videos up for the weekend, but you know, resin and paint have to harden. Then we have complications. Well, <laughs> you're going to see what happened with this clock. All right. But it came out pretty cool. I kept saying, I'm bringing back the nineties guys, but I'm going to explain you why I textured it and what happened to my paint. All right, guys, this is your more girl and welcome back to my channel. Thanks. Okay guys, so this is the supplies I'm gonna be using for this clock. This clock is gonna be two part. One is the clock and one is the backboard. So my vision for this clock is to resin it. One of my subscribers wanted me to show resin on my clock. And then I'm, and this is the clock I did get from the Walmart. Remember that? I hauled it a month ago. And I'll be using this new glaze coat I got from the Home Depot. So I haven't tried this yet, so Hopefully this comes out fine. Now the colors I want for this clock is going to be like a rose, an iridescent, a gold. I don't want it just to go. I don't want it to look anything like rose gold. So I'm trying to find at least three to four colors that will really pop because the clock is going to be way up on the uh, back of the wall. So I'm using my previous material I used for the frame because what I want to do is have the clock protrude away from the wall and then have the back on the back so what i'm doing now i'm going to measure i want the circle to be about four inches so i can give the clock four inches extra material around it because i don't want the clock just to float so i'm going to take my ruler and measure four inches across each section and that's what give me a nice circumference Okay, now that I have the styrofoam cut in half, remember this leftover styrofoam from the mirror framed. So I'm going to glue them together to make a square. Once I took the um, glue, I, all I did was use the hot glue gun, glue the two pieces together. And then after I glue together, I'll just staple it. Once it's stapled, it should be nice and secure. Then I'm gonna start the circumference. So remember guys, I'm taking you back to high school when we didn't have a large compass, this is what we did.
Sometimes I pinch myself, it could have been a dream. This is my current mood, I always will remember. You're nothing but yourself, and that's why I believe that this could last for good, cause we're so great together. Oh, baby, tell me where and when. Tell me where and when. Make a whole day and night again. When seeing a look will go right there, and then I just knew. Never seen somebody like you. I met you all. to do another Cody and look what happened to this unbelievable so now what I have to do is I'm not sure because it was colder that the paint just settled I don't know but this paint is going to go back so I'm just going to end up just doing the texture so you don't see it ah oh, unbelievable so i think this came out gorgeous mistake or not okay i really really like this texture so now the paints that i used was this gold i got from michael's um a couple months ago that i know i got from michael's in october because i used it on my pumpkin pretty pretty brilliant gold then i used the rose and then the iridescent paints that was left over from the trash can so this came out really nice and these are the colors i need to really pop that wall guys let's get started with this resin so i'm going to resin this clock that my subscriber wanted me to do to show them i'm not going to do it on marble lies i want to do a beautiful sort of iridescent floral so i'm using this glazed coat so we're hoping this is going to come out right first time i'm using it um i'll let you guys know because i'm plenty of you kept asking about can i use it for countertops actually that is what this is for so i have everything mixed up i already did my pre-mixes for my resin it's always one part of the resin one part of the harden have to be equal amounts if not it will not stick or adhere properly so i'm doing a stir now with this resin you have to resin i mean stir six minutes and then when you put in a fresh cup it's another six minutes so this is new to me and i'll let you know how it comes out 
Okay, for this one, I'm only going to use the white paint for now with the resin because I wanted a solid white. And you see here that I'm using a torch. A torch or a heat gun eliminates the bubbles that forms when you stir the resin. So once it settles and pours, sometimes it'll make little teeny bubbles and we don't want that in a project. So we're going to just eliminate them. If you're not comfortable with the torch, then just use a heat gun. And now I'm going to cover so no lint gets on it whatsoever. So as you can see, it's a nice solid white because I want the paint to go on top the colors. So I want that solid white and you can see here that I have tape where the circle is for the clock mechanism. So I'm just going to eliminate the... So once I take the tape off, it'll just pour through and then I'll just clean it up with a straw. All right, guys, let's get ready to paint. I love this part of resin. So I'm getting my colors together um, for the resin. I'm using my rose, and these are acrylic paints. These are acrylic paints mixed with the resin. I use the little cups I get from the Dollar Tree because I don't need a whole lot of it. So once I do a one batch of clear, I just divided each little color, the ones I'm gonna use the most. All right, though, so, and also when it comes to designing your resin you know you can always design it the way you want but fluid is fluid and it's your weight but you have to manipulate that and use you know dryers or you could use a straw to blow it and then you, you'll see me swerve it a little bit this part is so much fun i love doing resin art all right guys so let's check this out Okay, guys, the clock is done, and this is an optional. I saw these gems at Michael's, and so I broke the hands for the clock, so I had to go to get more hands from Michael's, and it was really small, so I figured, let me add some jewels to it to really bling it out more. Even though the hands are ornate, it came out pretty nice, though. So this is it, and after this step, guys, basically, it wasn't much to do but put the clock together. Guys, just appreciate you coming by and checking out this DIY, and I hope you will try something like this. You never know. You just might like it. And guys, get your hands a little dirty. Try some little resin, okay? And look at that texture. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, this is your more girl, and thanks for coming by. See you at the next YouTube Tuesday.